A massive donor dumps Nikki Haley after a big South Carolina loss to DT. Yeah, it's hilarious, right? If only they knew that she need funding to steal Super Tuesday, right? 13 out of 18 states are blue or swing states. Going to be a lot easier for her to steal than South Carolina. One of Republican presidential candidates, uh, Nikki Haley's prime backers, has had enough. Americans for Prosperity Action, a group aligned with conservative billionaire Charles Koch, <laughs> uh, has said, it's Koch, by the way, has said it will no longer pour money into her campaign after her loss in South Carolina on Saturday. Political reported that it had obtained an email in which Americans for Prosperity CEO Emily Seidel said AFP Action, its political division, was no longer funding Haley. They said in quotes, uh, she has made it clear that she will continue to fight and we wholeheartedly support her in this effort. But given the challenges of the primary states ahead, we don't believe any outside group can make a material difference to widen her path to victory. End quote. AFP Action has been putting its resources behind Haley since November. The group maintains the Republican Party is doomed with DT as its presidential candidate. That doesn't sound like doom to me. I see confetti's lights and kids cheering. Yeah. Um, anyways, if DT is at the top of the Republican ticket, the risk of one party rule by a Democrat party captured by progressive left is severe and will do irreparable damage to this country, says Seidel. The last three election cycles have painted a very clear picture of what we can expect from voters who constantly rejected DT and its impact on the Republican party, Brown. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, I, they, see, they're, they're still afraid to call it cheating. They're still afraid. And we should expect this to increase further as the criminal trials progress. Yeah, someone's not paying attention. Someone's not paying attention to the cell phone data, right? Yeah. DT faces a March trial in New York over payments he made to Stormy Daniels prior to the 2016 selection and also faces federal election interference charges and charges he mishandled classified documents. DT is also facing selection interference charges in Georgia. Mark Harris, lead advisor with SFA Fund, the group, bar the group backing Haley said it will support her as long as she is in the contest. Well, have you ever considered that she's actually in it for the money and not that she's uh, trying to win? She's not going to win unless she steals it. DT reacted on truth and said, in quotes, Americans for no prosperity <laughs> ha, have just stated that Haley is has no chance to win and they will stop funding her campaign effective immediately. What a waste of money. Haley indicated Saturday that she will remain in the contest at least through Super Tuesday. In the next 10 days, another 21 states and territories will speak, she says. Uh, she said the Saturday night after losing South Carolina by 20 points. <laughs> they have the right to a real choice, not a Soviet style selection with only one candidate. Why didn't you say Chinese style election with only one candidate? Why do you why do you insist on using the word Soviet when that place doesn't even exist anymore? Right. Why, why, did, why did you say China? Why didn't you say Pandaran and their one party system? And I have a duty to give them that choice. Yeah.